previously on Bridal Plasty. I'm like so confident that I'm gonna love my nose. Oh, it's gonna be good, it's gonna be so good. <laughs> I'm gonna give her a seven. That made my self-esteem skyrocket. I just have one question. Is your mother gonna cry when she sees those tattoos and that pretty dress at your wedding? This is just embarrassing. Kristen, with the highest score, you are the top bride. It feels amazing to finally win a challenge and my boo. Kristen wasn't sure exactly what size implant she wanted, so we're gonna try them on. She is swallowing these up. Unfortunately, Alexandra, Dominique, and Jamie, you are our three bottom brides. Like Lisa Marie already told Dominique she voted for her. So you already know that that means that Melissa are gonna vote for her too. They're the fakest bitches up in here, and they're gonna be the ones standing at the end if no one stops their asses. What are you looking at from a competition standpoint? I think Jamie is more competitive. Yeah. This is very hard. Yeah. Yeah. This is very hard for me. I'm so sorry. I know that I convinced Allison to go for Alexandra. I'm really the puppet master. Jamie, your time here at Bridal Plasty is now over. I'm so sorry, I had to call my fiance and let him know that he didn't have to rush home to pick me up. It's okay, I'm really glad you're still here. I don't know, this is like way too much for me. I'm just so happy just to honestly still be here. here. Like, honestly, I'm just like, whatever. What made me mad was all four same girls were the other girls that voted for the all same time last time. Lisa Marie, with three brides at your table, you are safe from being sent home. Dominique, with three guests at your table, you are still in the running to become the perfect bride. It's making me wonder, is this how you guys are going to vote every time? It is how they're going to vote. They have formed a clique together. Janessa, Lisa Marie, Melissa, and Dominique all have an alliance, so it's important that the rest of us stick together. Janessa's not stupid. Janessa is a smart pageant type of girl. It's like she's got this game plan in her head. She does. And it's like slowly unfolding the way she wants it to. Mm -hmm. Janessa and Melissa are the two I'm most afraid of. We need to get rid of them. I will be damned if either one of those women win this title. Hey, guys. Hey. How are you? Good, how are you? Good. So last week, I was top bride, and I got my new boobs. And Dr. DeRoe is going to come check up on me and show me how they look. OK, I'm just going to take a quick look, OK? So you're having some sharp pain on the right, mm -hmm. right? Okay. The gurgling. Yeah, the gurgling. I should have warned you about that. Okay, well, they're perfect. Everything you do is perfect. My breasts look perfect. This couldn't be better news to me. At least if I go home, I'm gonna go home with perfect breasts. You're recovering nicely. It's not gonna hurt, right? You said, I know you said it wouldn't. It's Part of this will be a little uncomfortable. Oh, see, like, you lied. Dr. Dubrow is taking the cast off my nose and taking the splints out from the inside of my nose. So I'm gonna take out these internal splints on you. Look at it, it's out. Ew, no way, that was not in my yeah. nose. That's gnarly. Oh my God, it's the worst part of the entire thing. It looks really good. You it really good. love it. It looks freaking good. Oh, it's so good. I'm wishing I had a mirror to quick look before he tapes it down, but I don't. I wanted to see what it looked like. Uh -huh. You're taped up stably. It is time for you to join everyone. Your roommate is discharged. <laughs> I like recovery, and I don't know what the next competition will entail, so I'm definitely nervous at this point. Are they gonna stay that big? Because I'm really jealous. I think they're gonna stay. Oh my god. She's like definitely bigger than I am. Here, I'll show you. Look. Yours are naturally perfect. That's oh my god. Oh my god. 
bigger than mine. I'm like dying <laughs> here. Oh my god. Really? And yours are D's. Yeah. Wow. Hers are beautiful she though. Like that. She's totally oh bigger than I am now. Oh, no, she is. Like totally. Wow, like booby patches. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I like about yours though is they're they're shaped perfectly, which is what well, I'm so waiting for. So are yours. <laughs> That's what oh, I look like. Yay, boo. I'm all jealous. There's a package in the kitchen. I want to see it. I walk into the kitchen and I see a cake box. I am so excited. I'm like, is this the next challenge? Are we going to be decorating cakes? Like, what is going on? Ah, it's a oh, cake oh, oh, and there's a note. And it's oh, a real cake, of course. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah. Don't eat it. I don't think that that's sugar-free. <laughs> I mean, just because I'm a diabetic doesn't mean that I'm immune to sugar. I still crave it. I still want it. Ladies, get ready for the tastiest part of planning your wedding. <laughs> I'll see you shortly at the showroom of LA's premier cake designer. Oh! oh my so we pulled up to Hanson's Cakes. This is celebrity, fine quality cakes and they can really help me figure out what the hell kind of cake I can have for my wedding. This is getting better and better. Dress, like ring, no cake, like now we're getting into the good stuff. Hello ladies and welcome to the famous Hanson's Cake Shop. I'd like to introduce you to a good friend of mine, Patrick Hanson. Hello. Hello. Patrick is a seventh generation cake maker. From Frank Sinatra to Tori Spelling, Patrick and his family have been making cakes for tons of celebrities. Wow, a celebrity wedding, that's what I'm here for. The flowers, the dress, and of course, the cake. Today we're gonna taste the difference between a low quality cake and a Hanson's cake. Let's start by trying the cake on the left. I'll grab this one. Yeah, right. I don't even wanna finish that, sorry. It was. Awful. Okay, ladies, try the cake on your right. Mm. Oh my god. Could you tell the difference? Yeah. yeah. You could tell by looking at it. It just looks I moist. Know. Oh my god, Hanson's cakes. Nothing like I've ever tasted ever before. Why don't we take a look around this gorgeous showroom and look through some of the albums? So you said you don't do fondant very much, but the buttercream can look like fondant? Yes. That actually preferred yes. buttercream taste. Oh, yes. That's what we're famous for. OK, that would be perfect for me. I want something to be chic and elegant, but something that people will remember. And I feel like Hans's is the perfect place to help me do that. This is a beautiful cake. I love well, your Well, it's like a Tiffany box. Kind of digging this. We had pearls all the time. Yeah, I'd love that. I like love it. that, love that. She likes pearls. I love oh. pearls. My yeah. <laughs> Okay, ladies, are you ready for the fun part? Yes. yes. Well, these miniature wedding cakes are tokens for you to put in your bridal closets. And remember, the perfect bride will have her perfect wedding cake provided by Hanson's. Oh, yes. thank you. <laughs> the cakes at the shop are freaking ridiculous. This guy can do anything with cake. It's incredible. Patrick, thank you so much for having us today. Ladies, I hope your taste buds were paying attention because when I see you back at the house, it will be time for your next challenge. With every great thing that's brought up to us, there is a challenge to follow. Boo. Come on in, ladies. You can take a seat right here. Obviously, whatever the challenge is, I'm trying my hardest not to be a bottom bride. It's now time for your next Bridal Plasty Challenge. Kristen, you will not be competing in this challenge because you are still on medical leave. Besides the ceremony, the other crucial part of your wedding will be the reception. You want the dinner to be memorable and tasteful, and that's what this challenge is all about. We will be playing five rounds. For each course, I will give you two items, one marked white, the other black. One of them will be of the highest quality, while the other is completely bottom of the barrel. Pick the one you think is of finer quality. At the end of the challenge, the bride with the highest point total will become our top bride. And of course, the brides with the three lowest scores will become our bottom brides and be at risk of going home. Okay, ladies, are you ready to test your taste buds? Mm -hmm. Food? Food? Please place your napkins on your lap. Bad girl gotta eat. Uh-huh, I'm looking for the food. 
on your lap. <laughs> the complement to all great wedding toasts is champagne. And one of the glasses in front of you is a pour from a $499 bottle. And the other is $3.78. Black or white, you choose. I am accustomed to the generic version of things and the discount store things. Fine champagne. Mm -mm. I feel that I've been exposed to a lot of higher quality items. Obviously, you know, I'm, I live close to New York, so I go to New York all the time, where some of the other girls are just not classy. I've had champagne four times my entire life. Great. Please push forward the finer choice. The finer selection is the glass marked white. I just got this one right. I am so excited. Top Bride is definitely looking like it's in my reach this week. Janessa, Dominique, Cheyenne, and Alexandra, you have one point. Let's go to the next course. On one of the crackers is an exquisite example of pâté de foie gras. On the other cracker is your common deli liverwurst made from factory raised pig liver. Cheyenne, are you okay, sweetie? I can't really smell, so I can't taste a lot. So I'm just working. Okay, well just try to do the best you can, okay? I'll be okay. Everyone else can taste better than I can, and even if I can like beat out like two of the girls, there's no way I'm gonna beat out like three of them and just be safe. You never know what can happen. It's a 50-50 shot. I won't know the difference. Coming up, the foie gras is a delicacy made of fatty duck liver. <laughs> OK, maybe I can do this off of like my other however many senses you have. And later. That is correct. You are our top bride. You will be leaving right now. You go ahead and get this done. Come on, look at the flavor. Heal quickly. <laughs> Try to do the best you can, okay? You never know what can happen. Okay. The foie gras is a delicacy made of fatty duck liver. <coughs> While on the other cracker is your common deli liverwurst made from factory raised pig liver. Oh. Please taste the two different pâtés. Place the finer choice in front of you. The finer selection is the black plate. So at this point, I'm pretty much assuring myself that I'm going to be a bottom bride. So Janessa, Lisa Marie, Dominique, Cheyenne, and Alexandra, you are all correct. I'm so happy at this point. I'm like, OK, maybe I can do this off of like my other however many senses you have. Nettie. Allison and Melissa, you are currently our three bottom brides. But we have a few more rounds, so let's go to the next course. I mean, I only have three chances left. But if I don't get any right, then I'm SOL. I'm going to be a bottom bride, and I can't have that happen. The next round will be wine. One of the glasses contains a poured red wine from the Bordeaux region of southwest France. It's $350 per bottle. The wine is famous for its earthy undertones. The other? It's a $4 jug wine that we put some dirt in. Dirt in? Cheers. OK, the pressure's on, because I do not want to look like I don't have any class. <laughs> Please push forward your finer choice. Janessa and Nettie, you are the only two that chose white. And you chose the dirt wine. No way. I'm excited. I caught one right, and it was booze. 
I just wanted to like smack my head against the table. Like honestly, out of all these girls, I get the wine wrong, nice. Ladies, as we stand right now, we have a tie at the top between Alexandra, Cheyenne, and Dominique. I'm like competing for the top. No, oh, wow, that's really my habit. I could just bang them all out. <laughs> Might as well. Let's go to the next course. I know that I'm, if I miss four and five, I could be one of the bottom brides. On one of the crackers, ladies, is Alaskan king crab. On the other is imitation crab, spelled with a K. You may taste your crackers. If I don't get this one right, I'm almost guaranteed to be a bottom bride. Please push forward the finer plate. The black plate is correct. Nettie's not getting any right. I'm like, wow. She has no taste and no class. Nettie, Lisa Marie, and Melissa was incorrect. Lisa Marie and Melissa just cannot be in the bottom because then half of my alliance is in the bottom brides, which means one out of three of them is going home. Time for the fifth course. This is the last choice. If I get this right and Cheyenne and Dominique do not, that means I will be top bride. I'll be walking into Dr. DuBrow's office tomorrow. So going into the fifth round, I know I have to nail this one and hopefully avoid being a bottom bride. Beef. One of the patties is made from 100% Japanese Kobe beef. It retails for about $100 per pound. The cattle used to produce this beef is fed one beer a day. It's massaged weekly with sake. The other meat is discount store-bought chuck, which we got on clearance for $1.87, marked down from $2.25. Remember, Cheyenne, Dominique, and Alexandra are tied for top bride. And this is the last course. This beef is nothing like I've ever tasted before. It literally melts in your mouth. Allison, uh, would you like some ketchup? <laughs> Please put forward the finer choice. Cheyenne and Lisa Marie, you both chose the black plate, and you both got it wrong. After the initial five rounds, we have a tie for the two top brides, Dominique and Alexandra. I'm so disappointed that I'm out for top bride. If I had just pushed forward the white one, like I could have had another surgery. We also currently have three bottom brides, Lisa Marie, Nettie, and Melissa. The worst thing that could have possibly happened, happened. We have one member of the bond who might be out from the vote, and we have two that are bottom brides. So it's gonna come down to me and Lisa Marie, and I doubt we can save the both of us. We're gonna have a top bride showdown to determine which one of you will be the top bride. The rest of you can get up and sit down next to Kristen, please. This is really bad. I don't know exactly how I'm going to pull this off. I don't know how I'm going to keep both Lisa Marie and Melissa in the house. Top right doesn't get a vote at the RSCP ceremony. So I'm just hoping that Dominique loses the top right, because we really need her vote. In front of you, there are five pieces of cake. One of them is Hanson's cake. It is one of the finest custom-made wedding cakes available. One of the cakes is from your common grocery store. One of them is a homemade box cake mix made by our craft service lady. One of them is a cake made by a seven-year-old child. <laughs> and lastly, one of the cakes is a bulk store cake that we left out for the last couple days. The first one of you to correctly arrange your cakes will become our top bride. And of course, you'll have the opportunity to get one of your plastic surgeries from your wish list. I'm feeling great. If I win, I really, really want my tummy tuck. But no matter what, it looks like Janessa's alliance is in big trouble. I'm this close to being the top ride and finally getting the nose job that I've been dreaming of for forever. Go! Done. 
Alexandra, I'm sorry, that's incorrect. That was straight bull crap. I didn't get my tummy tuck, but I know that my chances are gonna be coming around soon. Congratulations, Dominique. Uh, I'm like, Dominique, seriously? Like, did you not think about this at all? Like, we need your vote. Like, we can't, you, we can't lose this. Thank you so much. You are our top bride. Thank you. Oh my God, I'm like shaking. I can't, I can't believe it. This means that you are safe not only this week, but next week as well. And you will have the opportunity to choose one of the plastic surgeries off your wish list. Okay. Congratulations. Thank you so much. As our top ride, you will be leaving right now. So you can go to the house and pack an overnight bag. Janessa and her alliance are sneaky and they need to be taken down. The rest of you, you all have a very important decision to make because you will be deciding which one of the bottom brides will be sent home. Lisa Marie, Nettie, or Melissa. I'm happy to not be in the bottom, and I really think we gotta get Melissa out of this house. Right? Melissa needs to go. This is it, this is the opportunity. <laughs> Melissa and I, we're not close. Since day one, she has been stuck to Janessa's side like glue. I mean, Melissa hasn't even come to visit me in the recovery room, so it's not like I really owe her my vote. I'm pretty sure Cheyenne's gonna vote for probably Nettie. I'm voting for Nettie. Okay, then I'll leave to all do Lisa Marie. So if we could just split up our votes for Lisa Marie and Nettie, Melissa's ass is out of here. Once Melissa goes, that whole thing between Melissa and Janessa is over. Oh, right on. I know. such a frustrating situation. Half of my alliance is in the bottom. I don't know how I'm gonna keep both Lisa Marie and Melissa in the house. Somehow we're gonna have to get more votes. My one vote is not enough to save them. The point is to get the votes away from Eddie. Mm-hmm. Gotta get the votes. Okay. This sucks. Coming up. You guys, Dominique is here. Mm -hmm. Dominique looks a hot mess. Beauty hurts, let's face it. And later. I'm not confident that I can sway other girls' votes, but I want to do everything I can. I will give you my word that if it's you and Melissa in the bottom next week, I will vote for you. Dominique. Hi. Hi, how are you? Good. Good, good to see you. Good to see you again. There's really only one very important thing that I want to get done, and that's fixing my nose. Let's have a look. Okay. I'm really excited to do this, because you have a really nice facial shape, very cute, mm -hmm. and this is sort of the one thing that doesn't really belong here. I huh? agree. Also, I think your nose is a little bit wide, and we're really just going to file this down and reduce it a bit. I'm excited for Kevin to see, you know, I mean, I feel like it's a big part of changing what I look like, and I'm really just on my way to having my dream wedding and being that perfect bride. And so we're gonna make minor changes to a lot of the nose, which will make a major change to your overall nose, okay? Right. Go ahead and get this done, yes? Okay, Excellent. thank you so much, you're, doctor. You're so welcome, it's gonna be fun. <laughs> okay. Take a big deep breath for me, okay? See you in a couple minutes. Take good care of you. We're actually going to place a piece of the septum into the tip to stabilize it when we narrow and refine the tip. Heidi, we're going to break this nose. Mm. Tap, tap. Try to get very controlled break on this. No, come on, tap it. Okay? Okay? Come on, look at the bleeding. Now, we're gonna put these splints that Cheyenne loved <laughs> when I took out. We've got it looking really good, so we're gonna close the incision. Okay, Dominique, heal. This is, this, we killed it. We so killed it. That was awesome. I 
you're feeling today? Good. Tight. Yeah. Good. How are you feeling? <sighs> Nervous. And yesterday I was like, you know, I was trying to like hold my composure. Like I talked to Alexandra and mm -hmm. our goal is to have you and Nettie stay. It's such a relief knowing that Kristen and Alexandra want me to stay. But Janessa, Melissa, and Dominique, we have an alliance going on, and now one of us may go home. This is not looking good. Personally, like, I have nothing against Melissa, but mm -hmm. I haven't seen her once. Like, I don't even have a relationship with her. She doesn't make a point to, and you do. Mm. And, like, you're such a good person, and, like, I feel like you deserve it. I really think Lisa Marie is a total sweetheart. She's just been brainwashed by that stupid alliance. I can't speak for everyone, mm. and I can at least speak for myself and Alexandra. Like, we don't have any plans for sending you home. Yeah. Who am I talking about? Yeah. And what about them? Neither one of those two will vote. They will not because. Oh no, she's like, like, mm mm. Because she's like really hurt. You're echoing. You know, Melissa needs to talk to Alexandra. That's just simply it. Yeah. I'm not confident that I can sway other girls' votes, but I want to do everything I can to try and keep Melissa in the house. I don't know what's going on. So I just, like, I want to talk to you about a few things. I would just, like, want to talk to people that were voting and, like, see, like, what do you think is important? It's kind of difficult because... I'm getting to know Lisa Marie a lot. She Such will a give you person. the shirt off her back. She really yeah. would. And yeah. it's just like, I see that. And then Nettie, I'm just starting to get, talk to. But you know, I haven't gotten to know Melissa at all. I was stuck in that room and I didn't see her once. She, yeah, it's really yeah. hard for her to like open up to people. And like, I feel like it's, you know, in this situation, like I feel that, you know, you know, they're serving our country and it's like, it's sad that they feel that they have to hold everything inside. Janessa's grasping at straws just to keep Melissa here. She deserves my vote because she's an army wife. You guys, Dominique is here! Dominique looks a hot mess, like, but she's like the third one now who has gotten a plastic surgery. And it just makes it all that much more real that, you know, I could be in that recovery room next. Are you good? Are you okay? Yeah, I'm not so bad right now. You seem really stuffy. Yeah. Just, um, yeah. yay. Yeah. Hi. Hi. Go for it. <laughs> How are you doing? Melissa hasn't visited me once. Not once. And here she is to visit Dominique in the recovery room. Mm -hmm. We're so glad you're back. Good job. Yeah, it takes a little while. But you know, as soon as you go on here, you wake right back up. Have you look like this? <laughs> 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 Hello. 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 My decision has been made. And it was just proven too. I will be damned, mark my words, if Melissa or Janessa does win something like this because I do feel like they've been the most manipulative and most untrustworthy so far. Coming up. So let me just put this another way to you. I will give you my word that if it's you and Melissa in the bottom next week, I will vote for you. It's the moment of truth. Either she accepts my offer or Melissa goes home. Alexandra, please reveal your RSVP. because I went in there to see Dominique. And you never came in to see her. Kristen's definitely a drama starter. And I really need to explain to Melissa that it's crucial to stay out of the recovery room. Play it cool for the next day. Just don't go in and see but her. But how can I not go in and see her? You should make well, do you want, do you want to go home then? Well, I just might. If it was me, I would not go in there. This is not looking good. Melissa needs one more vote besides mine to be safe. 
But it might be up to me to get that one vote for her. See, that is immature. You know what? Like, she's one with the power right there now. So do you want to accept it? I visit Dominique because she's part of the bond, you know? Like, what the hell would me and Kristen talk about? That little hippo. We're really getting down to the nitty gritty of this whole competition, aren't we? The question is, who are you going to vote for since you're your friends on the bottom? Everyone's pretty much in agreement that we want Lisa Marie to stay because she's very caring. Here's the thing. I feel like Melissa, she needs to grow a lot. And so I feel like in that she's sense, she needs to be here. Like, the same way people gave you a second chance, like, she needs to be here to like know that I it's okay to be she herself. She was given a second chance. I am feeling nervous for Melissa, but I'm really hoping that at least one of them will give Melissa a chance. Vanessa's been trying to convince us to keep Melissa here, basically. But it's not happening. Do you notice the difference between last week and this week? Mm -hmm. Last week she was little Miss Puppet Master, and now all of a sudden, oh, she starts to realize your rain's falling, bitch. Janessa, you know how she like she wants to keep Melissa here, and she has that whole little thing going on with them. You know what I'm saying? Please, and she's like, I don't understand why you guys want to keep Nettie here. Bitch, come tell me to my face who the f I said I oh, see now. I've never met anybody as like snake-like as Janessa. She has a dirty soul. <laughs> a dirty bitch. How she, do you think she got her man to propose? <laughs> Forcing us into it. <laughs> I think you need to go talk to people and let them get to know you. Like who? Everybody knows you. You need to let people like really get to know you. Cause you haven't done that. And I think you need to let people know like what you've been through. Like. I think I get it, but I don't know that anybody else does. Like with TJ being gone? Yeah. Like, I don't honestly know if people really know what you've been through, like how they could send you home. You can't expect people to vote for you if they don't know why you're here. Right. I'll do that. I'm going to, I'll go talk to everybody. These girls who want to vote me out, I'm going to have to fight and let them know how much I really want it. Do you have a minute? Yeah. OK, because I kind of want to talk. Hopefully, I can get at least one more vote. What's up? Well, you know, I feel like, I feel like since I've been here, I like, people feel like I don't care or something like that, but like, obviously I do. I really do. If I leave, that just means I have to sacrifice more time with my husband because I'll have to go to training and so it's more time away from him because we don't have the money to pay for the wedding. He just got back and I'm gonna leave him again. And I don't want that to happen. And I don't want to keep going on without him in his heart. And that's what's at stake here. Like, you come into me right now is fighting. And, like, I feel much closer to you now that you opened up to me. It just brought us closer, you know? You know what? I'm thinking I kind of swayed that vote there. You're going to be OK. <laughs> Thank you. Coming up, it is time for you to cast your RSVP vote. Again, here I am, torn. I've been working really hard to save Melissa. If she goes home, it'll be a huge blow to our alliance. And later, please step forward and reveal who you RSVP'd for. This is very hard for me, but one thing that helps me get through this house is support. to me right now is fighting and like showing me that yes I want this too and I deserve a chance you know like I feel much closer to you now that you opened up to me it just brought us closer you know if I get at least one more vote other than Janessa hopefully I could be staying today you're gonna be okay <laughs> thank you seriously I'm like the only one that really understands Melissa I feel like she's a little sister to me, and it's almost like I feel like I need to protect her. Now that I'm alone with Alexander at the pool, this is a perfect opportunity to give um, one last effort to try to keep Melissa in the house. Melissa has a tiny chance. She did talk to me, and my heart went out to her. But it was like, the, this is the only time she really came up to me. And like, I know if she was not in the bottom, 
she would not be even trying to get close to me. So, okay, so let me just put this another way to you. And if it's like not even on the table, then just tell me and we'll forget about it and we won't even talk about it anymore and we'll send her home. I will give you my word that if it's you and Melissa in the bottom next week, I will vote for you. Would that change your mind? I, I would want to, I would want to have your guarantee that I would have a vote. You have my guarantee. I mean, I'll consider it because obviously, like, this is a competition and I want to be here longer. And see, I know that about like, you. Like, I want this. I want my dream wedding. Like, I cannot tell you. I'm starting to actually trust Janessa a little bit more and I kind of want to join forces with Janessa to get further because Janessa knows what she's doing. She really does. I'm telling you, if you give Melissa one more chance, like, you have control. I'm giving you my word. As you can see, the RSVP box is here. Unfortunately, it is time for you to cast your RSVP vote. As you know, once I take that box out of this house, your votes are locked. I will need the three bottom brides to come with me. That is Nettie, Melissa, and Lisa Marie. Hi. This is the first time I'm in the bottom, so it's a little nerve-wracking. I only need two votes. Obviously, I'm getting Janessa's vote, but like if I can just get either Alexandra's or just anybody, one more vote, I'll be good. Nettie kind of does her own thing. She plays it safe with all the girls. She got her eye on her prize. Maybe I should reconsider my vote and get rid of her. Coming up, Alexandra, please step forward and reveal your RSVP. I have a lot of hope in that Alexandra's gonna sit at my table. Well, I'm not sure she will. I am so glad that you opened up to me. It's not every day that people get the opportunity to have the wedding of a lifetime. I really, really want this. I want to fight for it. I honestly feel that Byron and I deserve this, and I really want to stay here. I want to stay so bad. This is so important to TJ and me. Since I've been on the bottom, I've kind of uh, tried to schmooze a little bit and butter people up and see if I can possibly, you know, get a vote or two in. Right now in the house, there's a group of good girls and there's a group of bad girls. And all of us good girls know that we need to get those bad girls the hell out of here. And who's the queen of all bad girls? None other than Janessa. Good evening, ladies, and welcome to the Bridal Plasty RSVP ceremony. Janessa, can you please step forward and reveal your RSVP? <sighs> My little pumpkin. <laughs> um. You're like a little sister to me. I don't know what to say. Um, I just have so much respect for the way that you could serve our country. I don't, I don't know what else to say. And I think that you're such a special person. I love you. Oh my God, my little sister, shut the f up, bitch. You never really liked her. You were only trying to use her in your favor. Okay, Kristen, please come forward and reveal your RSVP, please. So short, sweet, and simple. I love you all, and I know we're all gonna go somewhere one day, and there only can be one person in the end, so this is only gonna get harder. If all plays out well, Melissa will go home, and I will finally feel like I have a little bit of peace in this house. Cheyenne. Okay, Nettie. From day one, I think that you've been a wonderful person, and I admire that a lot. Shai sits next to me, and I'm so relieved. Like, I just need one more vote. Allison, because there are five girls voting, you only need two votes to be guaranteed to stay in the house. So whoever gets the next vote will be safe. Okay, first of all, all three of you. 
I absolutely adore all three of you. Lisa Marie, room partner, nurse, you put everybody before yourself. Lisa Marie, congratulations. You will go on to compete to be the perfect bride. I'm relieved knowing that I'm safe. I am just so happy to have my other brides, you know, support. Alexandra, please step forward and reveal your RSVP. This next RSVP will decide both of your fates. So I did my best to make a deal with Alexandra. It's the moment of truth. Either she accepts my offer or Melissa goes home. I have a lot of hope in that Alexandra's gonna sit at my table. Well, I'm not sure she will. If I vote for Nettie, I weaken Janessa's alliance. But if I vote for Melissa, I can join that alliance and finally be protected. the RSVP ceremony, and Alexandra is the deciding vote. Does she choose her friend or foe? Nettie, I think like everybody else in the house, I have no complaints about you. You are the most neutral person. You listen to all of us. I feel like I am really close to Alexandra, and I'm really hoping that she votes for me. <sighs> Melissa, I cannot say that we had a great start, but what I can say is that I am so glad that you opened up to me. All I need is for Alexandra to sit at my table and Nettie's going home. This is very hard for me, but one thing that helps me get through this house is support. I really did consider Janessa's offer, but ultimately, I'd rather take my chances against her versus taking my chances trusting her. Sorry, Melissa, you picked the wrong side. Melissa, unfortunately, the brides have spoken and you do not have enough guests at your table. This means your time here, Bridal Plasty, and your quest to become the perfect bride is over. Your wedding will still go on, it just won't be perfect. I definitely feel like I deserve to stay tonight a little more than, you know, Lisa Marie. I feel like she already had her second chance. It sucks. I got eliminated. But I mean, I get to go home and see TJ, so that makes this horrible situation all that much better. Well, my number one target in the house at this point after Melissa leaves is Alexandra. She definitely played me a little bit, making me think that she may vote for Melissa, and I'd really like to take her down. I really think that Janessa knows her alliances are slowly slipping away. Bam, Melissa's gone. That's one less person she has control over. Janessa, your ass is going down. Well, ladies, congratulations, because you have all made it one step closer to becoming the perfect bride and having your dream wedding. Next time on Bridal Plasty. I kind of feel like maybe like you should be on one team and Cheyenne should be on one, because you guys have really been like consistently at the top. But I... I guess that's fair. Janessa always has a really slick way of getting what she wants. I don't like it and I don't trust it at all. Right now, they're definitely strategizing. Janessa has everybody in the house under her wing. She controls them. Cheyenne is weak and so is Lisa Marie. And honestly, they're going to listen to whatever Janessa says. Kirsten, if you want to say something to me, then say it to my face. Can you defend I don't, here? I'm, I mean, you're making us feel like and I'm being honest with you. Janessa is completely a puppet master. She wants to control everyone and everything to make sure she's the last one standing. A lot of the reasons you don't like me are because people run into and saying things because they want to take me out. I think it's like one person in particular, though, that's like trying to make me look bad. The master manipulator. <laughs> you are now our top ride. She is going to look so great in her wedding dress with virtually no scars. 